Hey guys and gals, it's AK here. But my friends like to call me Jason Band. I don't know why, but I'm coming to you right from my house, right outside the beautiful Detroit, where we're having wonderful weather of negative 35 degrees. Polar vortex style, as you can see, I'm surrounded by ice, this is all ice. And I just wanted to show you two quick things to make you a bunch of money. All you have to do is pull out your credit card, enter it into the form, and get my trading system that is going to make you rich, because the markets are so hot right now. They're the only thing keeping me warm. <laughs> Oh yeah, Jason Bond. You probably saw him on that ad roll right before this video. But no, this won't be like one of his videos. I'm gonna show you this Starbucks trade I'm talking about where I did double my money. And I'm gonna show you the benefits of using the system that I used to do it, but also the drawbacks. Because to make 100% in a few weeks, you're gonna have to deal with a lot of volatility. But I'll explain it all, so make sure you watch the video to the end. And while we're all bragging here, why don't you comment down below with a great trade you've made recently? I'd love to hear about it, as long as you're not Jason Bond. Okay, so if you don't know and you haven't watched my previous videos, I use a system System called the NASDAQ All-Stars. And what it does is analyze the NASDAQ 100 and find the stocks with the highest momentum. So it's a momentum trading system. Now using that system, I entered Starbucks on January 15th right here. And I sold it today, which is right here. And as you can see, that only says a 8.55% rise. So how in the world did I get 100%? Simple options. With this NASDAQ All-Star system, there's a lot of different ways to play the momentum readings that it's giving you. And one of them, as I said, is through options. So what we did with the options model on January 15th was purchase the 70 calls right here. And back when I purchased them, they were going for about 80 cents a contract. And they had a delta of 0.2. And then today, as you can see where I sold them, they have a delta of 0.44 and they're priced around $1.96. And I think I sold around $1.68 or something. So I basically doubled what I bought it for. And from the 15th to 31st, First, that's only what 16 days so not bad for a hundred percent return so the reason an option strategy like this works is because it takes advantage of two things and these two things are anomalies in the market where if you utilize them properly you can profit that becomes your edge so the first thing it uses is momentum which is considered a market anomaly because according to the fish and market hypothesis stocks shouldn't just keep moving higher and higher but they do and momentum exists so by buying calls you're betting that the price is gonna be higher than where it is right now and the second thing you're taking advantage of in this system is the fact that the black shoals model doesn't price options properly it does okay in the short term but as you extend that time period where you're trying to price the option it starts to break down so when we bought that option it was january 15th and the price of starbucks was 64 bucks and we bought a call with the strike price of 70 which is pretty far out of the money that's why the delta was 0.2 because it was so far out now if you don't know what delta is that's okay you don't really need to understand that for this example but basically how that option was priced at that time with how far away the price actually was you were getting a deal by buying it because the option options model isn't taking into account how much momentum Starbucks has. And that's exactly what the All-Stars model does. So with the All-Stars model, we saw that Starbucks had high momentum. So if it had high momentum, there's a good chance that it could reach 70, which the options pricing model didn't take into account. So there's a discrepancy in the market you could take advantage of, which is exactly what we did. And that's how we were able to double our money so fast. Because with options, it's not like a stock where your profit curve is just going slowly, slowly up like this. With options, it's more like this. Now this sounds great, right? And it is when it works out but it's a double-edged sword because if price goes against you which it definitely will go against you over a series of trades just as quick as you could gain money in options you could lose it now we do cap our risk because when you buy an option you could only lose the amount that you paid to purchase it right but the rough part about trading options is sometimes you lose that entire amount so with stocks if you invest $500 and it drops 50% you could at least sell it and get 250 back right but with options a lot of times what happens is if you buy a call at a certain price price and the stock drops way too much, there's not even going to be a market to sell that call back. So you're going to take the entire loss. So like I said, double edged sword. And that's why you wouldn't put a ton of your money into a system like this. So what I do is section off a smaller portion of my money and use it in these options with the understanding that if I lost that entire account, it blew up. That's okay. And here I could show you an example with my tester account of how good or bad it could be. So here you see the gain loss column for a string of options trades. And you see it starts out pretty good. 802, 401. Oh, one loss. Okay. Okay thousand okay that's great another small loss okay this is a bigger loss right here small gain then we get into a huge string of losses loss after loss after loss 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 ouch it, it hurts i mean when you're going through a string of losses like that your account is getting hit hard so your whole account
account balance could draw down pretty quickly. In no time, it could be cut in half, and that's volatility that most people can't take. And then recently, the system is picking back up and showing gains again. So if you're using a system like this, you gotta be real careful with your position sizing. You're better off sizing smaller because you gotta anticipate a long string of drawdowns that could wipe you out. And you know, I had that video recently about that odd stats blow up. I'm assuming that's kind of what happened to him. On a rare occasion, like even if it almost never happens, you might get just one string of losses that completely ruin you. And even if you back tested your system, like this option system is back tested, there might only be a small 0.5% of that happening. But when it does happen, you're just really screwed. So when you hear these gurus on the internet talking about their system strategies, indicators, whatever they want to sell you, and how they could take your account from 500 bucks to 500,000 in just a few short months, you got to understand that maybe they do have an example of them doing that. But to be able to do that, to be able to get those huge numbers, like I said before, you're dealing with a lot of volatility. So if you get a perfect run, you can maybe take it from 500 to 500,000. But if you get a bad run or even a mediocre run, depending on the strategy, you could just blow out your account. So these gurus, what they'll do is set up 10 accounts. Each account has $500 each and they run them all over and over again. And then they'll pick the one that did really well because it's just statistics, right? Eventually one of the accounts will do great and they will market that one, but they won't tell you about the nine other accounts that blew up using the same strategy. So whenever you see someone marketing something like this, like the title of this video, you gotta be real careful because they're likely not telling you the downside of the strategy. So the people who are subscribed to the NASDAQ All-Stars, they have access to this option strategy plus two other strategies that all take advantage of the momentum of the NASDAQ 100. But they all know because I explained to them exactly what this option strategy is. It's not some magic formula that's gonna make you rich. It's just extremely volatile. So just like you could get huge upside with it, you could also get pretty big downside. And once you understand that, then you can decide how much of your account you wanna allocate to it if you even wanna mess with it at all. Like my main strategy where a majority of my savings are, that's in the monthly all-stars. And that's a lot slower moving. It's purely stocks, no leverage or anything. And that's the level of volatility that I'm comfortable with with that amount of money, as opposed to this options account that I use, which is much smaller. So really you gotta do what works for you. And then don't get scammed online by these magic indicators or whatever. Understand that there's always two sides to the story. All right, did I lecture you enough by this point? Hopefully that gives some context to the stuff you see online. If you feel like you're missing out on the potential one in a hundred chance that you might be the one to really get rich off of it, then download our FOMO trading guide. It's gonna help you with stuff like that. It's not just for when you're feeling FOMO in the markets. FOMO happens in a lot of different areas. And this guide will show you tips and techniques to keep it under control. So hit that link in this video. It should be at the top or in the description or the comments and go to that page, put down your email so I know where to send it to. And while you're at it, smash like on this video and subscribe to this channel and hit that bell for email notifications when new videos come out. We publish about three a week, all markets and business related. So subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.